Meanwhile, women-led protests continue in Iran despite the intense crackdown by the government. More and more people are pouring out onto the streets, and these are some of the latest visuals that have come in from the Iranian streets. Now, this is the city of Mahabad in western Iran. This is an area that is dominated by the Kurds. The security forces have deployed armored vehicles and have also accused uh, and have been accused of targeting this region specifically. More troops have also been deployed, tear gas has been fired and water cannons has also been deployed by the security forces. The demonstrators have been killed on Sunday and according to estimates at least four people ended up losing their lives in this crackdown by the administration. Now the western part of Iran is home to nearly about 10 million Kurds and that is about 10% of the country's population. The human rights groups say that the section has been a victim of discrimination even in normal times. But the recent protests have sparked more clampdown in these areas than the rest of the nation. There were unusual scenes that were witnessed from the university in Tehran where the students staged a sit-in protest in front of the university's president's office. And this protest, of course, happened after nine students from the university were arrested. The chants that you hear translate as the student dies, he does not accept the humiliation, and the imprisoned students must be released. The protests in Iranian universities and schools are pretty rare, but they've now become common ever since the protest broke out in the aftermath of the death of Mehsa Amini. Students are voicing their concerns over the regime's brutal crackdown on its own people. And another university also saw some very similar protests. The students chanted, Women, Life, Freedom, a slogan that has now become the core purpose for the demonstrators. The local reports suggest that two prominent Iranian actresses have also been arrested. Hengame Ghaziani and Katayun Riahi have been accused of acting against the state. The two artists publicly supported the protesters and appeared in public without a headscarf. The protests have, of course, stretched into the third month. And human rights activists say that at least about 410 protesters have been killed in the unrest so far, including 58 protesters who are said to be under the age of 18. Some 54 security members have also been killed. A total of 17,000 people, according to reports, have been arrested. And at least about six protesters have been sentenced to death so far. The authorities have not provided any details about those who have been convicted in the cases that are presently ongoing. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.